Hey guys, what is up? So I got some interesting news for you guys. Uh, so A, I'm thinking of actually not doing videos anymore. Now, that doesn't mean I'm actually stopping my YouTube channel. I'm sure most of you guys are like, oh, well, that's too bad. What, what, what's the problem? Well, for one, I feel like I'm just not a very good YouTuber. Now, I've been told I have very good commenta uh, commentating, stuff like that. Uh, I think my one problem, though, is that my videos all look like crap. I can't put my webcam in the corner. I don't have any of that type of technology. So for you guys, I need your guys' help to tell me what the heck to download because I'm literally at a loss of thought of what to do. Um, but I also changed my computer background to the Mystic logo here so that it's not just like a giant black uh, whatever on both sides of the, uh, the screen, which I thought maybe that would somewhat make my videos look a little bit more clean. Uh, but today I just wanted to go over so far what I've gotten in the Gen 2 update. Now, I was thinking about doing vlogs, but then again I'm like, you know what, they all look like horrible crap. They sound, I sound horrible in the videos, my voice doesn't really come through that well. Especially since I have to use uh, Snagit to record those as well, which tends to be super laggy when recording some videos, uh, including recording those uh, ones with my face. But I wanted to go over what I've gotten so far, what I've gotten in the Pokedex, what I've seen, stuff like that. So, without further ado, let's get into it. And look at who's our starting Pokemon. Ooh, yes please. So with Scissor, I ended up actually getting a Metal Coat finally out of a Pokespin. It's the only evolution item I've gotten so far. Uh, I still need to get a bunch to get like Politoed and Slow King and a bunch of all the other uh, Gen 2 Pokemon that I want to evolve to. Although there is a possibility to find them in the wild. It's still a pretty rare chance to find those. Uh, also, I've been noticing that the uh, the Gen 1 spawns have been a lot harder to find than Gen 2 now. It's like Gen 2's actually taken over the game, which I think that's actually a good move. And then maybe sometime later, maybe make it a little bit even, so it's not like just t Gen 2 and then like maybe one Gen 1 Pokemon every couple feet or whatever. Uh, but here's Sneasel. I know I've showed you guys some of these in my other Pokemon Go videos, but then again, not everyone uh, has watched all of my Pokemon Go videos. This might be your first video. And if it is, please do leave a like if you end up enjoying. Otherwise, if you guys see something in the video you guys like, or something like that, you guys can leave a like. Also, if you guys want to subscribe, you guys can subscribe for more Pokemon Go content for updates or just other things about myself and what I found. And if you guys want more info, like directly and stuff or interesting things I found, you guys can go follow my Twitter, Cars of MN Pokemon. You guys can go follow that. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it is, um, uh, I think it's Kanye East U or YT standing for YouTube. Uh, Pokemon or something like that. Uh, I'll, I'll link it down in the description below if you guys are still confused. This guy I found right by my house. We have a Noctowl on this actually, uh, right across the street. And I'm going to show you guys something else I got across the street. So Natu right now, uh, I'm trying to save up. I've seen two wild Satus, which is his evolution uh, in the wild, but I haven't been able to find either of them, which has been really painful. I'm going to go to my pictures in a little bit as well to show you guys what else I've seen li recently. I like Lady Lady, and uh, he looks pretty cool when he does a backflip like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, my phone also tried to auto correct Ladian to lesbian, which I don't know what the heck it was thinking. Obviously, it's never heard the word lady in before. Uh, this is the highest Murkrow I found, 993. It's almost a 1,000. Uh, I'm going to save him for Honkrow when Honkrow comes out in 4th gen. I, I got to say, I do like the new darkness background. It looks super cool. And I'm pretty sure it's actually like moving, too, or it, there's like some type of black dust or something blowing in the background. Eridos. Uh, me and my dad found this at our park while some lures were still up, so that was pretty cool to find this guy here. Um... Honestly, I don't know. With Gen 2 in the game now, I don't know how I feel about the game. Like, it doesn't feel like Pokemon Go, but at the same time, it's so cool. Because now there's more Pokemon to find. And, I mean, they are actual Pokemon. But when with just Gen 1 in the game, it felt so real. It felt like actual Pokemon. I don't know why Gen 2 has been making the game feel weird. And people have all been complaining about Blissey being too overpowered. I, I honestly agree it is a little overpowered. But that's what type of Pokemon she is. I mean, that's how she was created. So... To be honest, I don't know why they're complaining about that, because that's how she is. I do have lots of Ladians. They tend to spawn a lot. Uh, they all tend to be only, like, eight, seven to 900, anywhere in there. They don't seem to go to 1,000. Chinchow, I have found three so far. Uh, one actually ended up glitching that I found this morning when I went on a Pokemon walk with Brandon. Uh, if you guys don't know him, you guys can check out my other videos. Uh, he might be in him. Also, the one I always point to is my birthday video. He is all over towards the end of that video, so he's caught dabbing like crazy and stuff like that, so if you guys are interested. This guy, uh, he's pretty cool. I don't remember if this is the one I evolved or the one I found. I found two wild pillow swines so far. Uh, here's another Noctowl I found over by our uh, local area where they tend to spawn. This Sudowoodo I found at school. That was pretty awesome. It is a female. Um, but yeah, Sudowoodo tends to be... 
I don't know why it's not like I said Sudowoodoos. That sounds weird. Uh, but Sudowoodo tends to be like a really popular Pokemon from Gen 2. I don't know why. I mean, he does look cool. Obviously, he's a fake tree Pokemon, so he pretends to blend in. Like, on the radar, he literally stands completely still. And then, like, every couple seconds, he might move his branches. Yep, just like that. Yep, <laughs> right there. He just did it. <laughs> he uh, showed it to you guys. Also, Teddy Ursa, uh, he's a pretty cool find. He's more of one of the uncommon Pokemon. Something... Not too commonly seen. Also, here's another Ladian. I don't know why I keep them. I know they're pretty low CPs, but at the same time, they're still kind of cool. Dunsparce. I know everyone doesn't really like Dunsparce. Personally, growing up, me and Brandon both really like Dunsparce. I don't know. Uh, I just like his color scheme, personally. As Also, because he's kind of a unique Pokemon. He's supposed to be a bug Pokemon. Uh, I don't remember if it was like supposed to be some type of bee. I think he was supposed to be some sort of bee. Um... But yeah, honestly, I think he's a cool Pokemon. I, I could have seen them giving him an evolution if they tried hard enough. But, personally, I do like Dunsparce. I know lots of people are like, oh, he's such a dumb Pokemon. He's so useless. Yeah, he's kind of just one of those filler Pokemon, but still. I when, I, when growing up with Pokemon, I grew up with 2nd, 3rd, and 1st gen. And, uh, to be honest, he was probably one of my favorites. Probably just because I liked bugs when I was younger. I tended to, like, go out and collect them. Because there were so many different varieties of insects. Which is kind of why I like Pokemon. is because there's so many different varieties of Pokemon. Uh, this, if you guys don't know why I called it Mystic 7, it's because Mystic 7 is, like, my favorite YouTuber as of right now. Uh, so I named this tribute after him. Uh, my cord is kind of tangled up around the chair. I was trying to fix it there. Um... But yeah, so I did tag him on my Twitter. Again, if you guys want to go follow my Twitter, it's Cars of MN Pokemon. if you guys want to go check that out. Uh, Natu, here's another Natu. I guess I can sell the other one here. Uh, I guess I don't really need the other one. Whoa, hello. It's still down here. It didn't exactly catch up there. So we're at 39 out of 50 Natu candies, so I only need about, like, four more or something like that. Here's another Teddy Ursa. Um, I don't really need him as of right now. But uh, Wobbuffet, this was super cool. He is actually wonderful IVs. Uh, wonder, he's got awesome HP, stuff like that, also attack as well. Uh, he of course does have Mirror Coat, which is probably one of the most overpowered attacks. Kind of like Ditto, you can use any attack, really, that isn't, like, a damage attack, not like, say, like a move attack. Like, if, okay, I know this sounds confusing. Let's say a Pokemon can throw, uh, Froth, like Froggy, or Froki, or something like that, uh, See, he can't mirror coat that because it's not actually, like, an actual move. That's a uh, action or whatever the heck you want to call it. Swabafet's pretty cool. Got some Merrells as well. They tend to be a little bit more on the uncommon side. Uh, I've seen a couple of Zoomerails on the nearby. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get them, though. Uh, Hopip tends to be also an uncommon Pokemon. I do have uh, Skiploom somewhere. Sunkern. I was super happy to find Sunkern. Uh, this morning as well, because there was one at my school yesterday, but my game kept, like, freaking... Or not yesterday. Wait, no, that was yesterday. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, wow, I feel like today's Sunday for some reason. Also, my mouth is getting a little dry, so I'm sorry if my voice kind of goes out anytime. But besides that, Sunkern was definitely a cool find for me, just because I actually forgot he was second gen. I thought he was third gen, actually. Um... And you do need a Sunstone to get Sunflora, so you're probably better off just finding a Sunflora in the wild. There's another Wooper. I'm tr I'm still trying to save up for a Quagsmire. Uh, I did see one, like, a block away from my house. Again, if you guys want to see the picture of that, you guys can go follow my Twitter. Uh, here's another Skip Plume here, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm still working towards Jump Luff. I'm at 57 out of 100, so I've actually got a lot of candy for him. Oops, there we go. Ah, <laughs> and guess who's our next Pokemon? The one that was actually at the Owl Nest, believe it or not. This guy was actually at the Pokestop. Literally right over uh, here, right there, uh, me and Brandon were actually walking home. We were about right around over here, and all of a sudden, it showed up on the radar. I'm like, Brandon, Ursa Ring! And so we started running uh, towards him, and it's a pretty exciting moment, to be honest. Uh, I don't know why I have another Hoot Hoot in here. I suppose he's a high enough CP. I could probably... Eh, maybe. I might do an Octel. I don't know. This guy also found it another Pillow Swine. Um, as well as another high CP EV, which I'm going to evolve for you guys right now. Who knows? If we get SB on our Umbreon, that'd be pretty cool. I know it's not guaranteed. Of course, there are five evolutions in the game right now. Um, oof. Put in, your co put in the comments down below right now. Do you think it's going to be Jolteon, Flareon, Vaporeon, or... Vaporeon. Oh... <laughs> uh. Okay, it's a decent CP. It's okay. Water Gun and Water Pulse. Okay, so it's actually a pretty decent moveset, to be honest here. Uh, certainly caught your attention, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's not that great, but oh well. Uh, now what I'm going to do is actually move over to my pictures here. 
and we're going to go over some of the uh, sad things I've spotted recently that I was kind of disappointed not to get. Um, so actually, on the way home today, I spotted a wild victory bell uh, somewhere. I'm going to put that on my Twitter sometime soon. This, I just tried to make like a Play-Doh Pokeball with a Ditto. That's nothing special. This is what really killed me today, guys. Look at this. There's a Chikorita, a Coughing, a Palm, and a Noctowl all somewhere in the wild, but I couldn't even find any of them. Like, it was really stupid, because, I mean, all four of those Pokemon are super rare, and all of a sudden, it's like, no! <laughs> also, the uh, Apom, uh, me and my dad found one at our local park. Mine ran away. Uh, dog barks. Something you gotta live with with dogs, a.k.a. why I'm not getting dogs in the future, because they're annoying, and they're a waste of money, and they're hairy. That's a rant. Okay, I think the dog shut up now. Uh, to be honest, though, Chikorita would have been my first second-gen evolution to grab, which would have been super awesome to me, to be completely honest. I'm going to flip my screen sideways here. So no, that's going to look weird. Never mind. I'm not going to do that. Uh, fix yourself. Come on. Oh, it's just, why is that so small? Uh, that was the previous picture, and then all of a sudden the coughing showed up, so I did another picture to get the coughing. Uh, see, those were just to show. Oh, my gosh, guys. This right here, <laughs> at our local gym, like right across from our house, I saw somebody battling a Tyranitar in the gym to help me battle. Like, I don't know who has this Ty Tyranitar already, but oh my gosh, they are lucky. This was my first time getting the uh, first, second gen Pokemon glitch here, where your Poke you you hit the Pokemon with your Pokeball, but for some reason it pretends like you didn't actually hit it, and all of a sudden it just still thinks you're throwing Pokeballs, and the Pokeball goes underground, and it's really weird. There's another Satu picture right there. I've been kind of disappointed not to be able to get these guys, just because... I've seen, like, two of them wild, and I haven't been able to find any of them. Uh, this was my scissor evolution here. This is pretty cool. You actually tell the game to put the metal coat on the scissor, which I honestly think is pretty awesome. Uh, Gligar, I saw him close nearby. Apom, I guess I don't really need the picture because I already did it. And that's about it for the awesome Gen 2 stuff here that I've seen uh, that I thought would be cool to share with you guys. But besides that, guys, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know this wasn't much of an action video. It's more of just a share what I've found. Um... I'm, I'm thinking about doing a vlog. I'm not going to do one today because it's so dark, and also I am here uh, watching my sister, technically. Besides that, guys, though, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please do leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Also, I want to show you guys something here. Oh, wait, no, the gym changed. Uh-oh. There used to be a blissy right over here, I guess. Uh... Oh, my gosh. When did the... <laughs> when did this get here? Oh, I don't even know what to say right now. Oh, man, that's that's crazy. Oh, my gosh. Somebody put a Tyranitar in the gym. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh. <gasps> guys, you know what that just did? Oh, my gosh, guys. Oh, my gosh. Go down to the bottom. <gasps> dude. Look right there. Oh. <gasps> Dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so freaking cool. Oh my gosh. Besides that, guys, again, if you guys are new to my channel and you guys want to subscribe, please do consider if subscribing if you guys want to uh, some daily Pokemon. Not daily, technically. I really only do videos like if there's something special going on or something like that. But if you guys want to watch some Pokemon Go videos, please do subscribe for updates or just news in general or maybe just stuff about me in the game. And also, I do make uh, Forza Horizon 3 and Slither.io videos. I will not be using my webcam anymore just because I feel like that looks really horrible usually just because I can't put it in, like, the corner of my screen. Like, I can't do that. It just I don't have an app that does that. Again, if you guys do know an app that allows you to do that, please do leave in the comments. I'm trying to pull a hangnail off of my finger right now. It kind of hurts. Ouch! That really hurt. Um, <laughs> besides that, guys, if again, if you guys are new, please do consider subscribing. And also, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Besides that, guys, I will see you guys all next time. I'm sorry, that sounded really country or weird or something. I don't know what that was about.